CSU Rams football in the bold new era led by first-year head coach Jim McElwain. Welcome to the Ram Report with Jim McElwain. Touchdown, Colorado State, and CSU is going to win this thing. Hi, everybody, and welcome to Mini of Loveland, sister dealership of Coe's BMW. Brian Roth with you, along with head coach Jim McElwain. It's another edition of the Ram Report. Colorado State coming off a 33-11 to win over UNLV, a dominating performance. And, and Jim, I thought you guys played well from minute one to minute 60. You know, I thought our guys came out with a lot of, uh, uh, they came out with energy. And, and it was something we talked about early in the week is, is you know, we determined what was going to happen in that game. No one else. And, and I thought our guys came out and did that. Yeah, the defense was outstanding. And of course, the, the Shaquille Barrett interception to get the scoring started, it really set the tone for your defense. Well, it really did. And, and you know, it was one of those things we, we talked all week about being a little more aggressive on defense and, and getting off the field in third downs. And, and it's something we did. And obviously, you know, the end result was a lot better than it had been. Yeah, no question about that. And that was a UNLV offense that had been good all season long, but the Ram defense shut them down on a cold Saturday evening in Fort Collins. CSU welcoming in UNLV. It's the Rams and the Rebels here tonight from Sonny Lubick Field at Hughes Stadium. Second and 18, spotted back in midfield. Sherry on the play fake, rolling out to the near side, get a fire, and it's intercepted. Shaq Barrett has it at the 40, down the near sideline to the 20, to the 10, to the 5. Peters, touchdown Colorado State. Bradley Randall now, and there's the deep back for UNLV. Sherry gives it to him with the underneath give, found a hole, lost the football on the 30 yard line, picked up to the 10, 5, touchdown. Colorado State and it was Shaq Bell and CSU has two defensive turnovers. They lead 13 to nothing. And a heads up play by Shaq Bell. First and 10 from the 14 yard line for Nick Sherry at UNLV. Three step drop, Sherry looking to pass. Now he's under pressure, he lost the football and CSU has recovered it at the 19 yard line. Alexander remains the deep back and on the counter takes to the right side big hole as the five lowers the shoulder at the three dives forward did he get in he did touchdown Donnell Alexander and it's 20 to nothing CSU a fourth and 11 UNLV from the ramp 34 yard line Cherry from the gun he'll take the snap stepping up in the pocket dumps it off underneath the cornet he is going nowhere and Smith from the gun, three wide receivers set underneath handoff to Alexander. Got to the edge again, cut up field to 35, got to the 40. Ball spotted right about the center of the hash mark. Snap is good. Roberts will put a foot to it as the distance on the way. It is good. An offset eye. Why would you not give it to Cornette here? Sherry takes the snap. Play fake. Going to throw near side ball cut. Touchdown. They give on third and three to Woke. Broken tackle has the first down as he crossed the 45. Kept the feet moving all the way down to the 40 yard line. Connor Smith's going to go from the shotgun. Give running to the right side. There's Alexander cut up field at the 15. He's to the five. Still on his feet. He's in the end zone for a Colorado State touchdown. Second of the night for Donnell Alexander. And that'll do it. The Colorado State Rams get their second win in three outings and their second consecutive home win. They have knocked off UNLV 33 to 11. Again, 33-11, the final scores. The Rams roll over UNLV and continue to talk about your defense. You mentioned third downs, but that was so big. Obviously, you weren't able to get off the field against Wyoming, but you were able to get off the field on a consistent basis against UNLV. You know, and that's what it's all about is, you know, within a game, there's a lot of different things that happen, you know, whether it's red area, whether it's coming out, whether it's two-minute offense, which, you know, in the first half, we went down and stole some points. You know, I mean, those are all important things in those situational football. and. Third down is huge, and uh, you know I thought our guys really kind of picked up the pace, and 
You know, I, I, I'll go back to is, is, you know, for those fans that came out there and, and sat there in that snow, and, and I mean, that meant a lot to our guys. And, and, and we really look forward to the day when you know, day, a night like that is going to go on and that place is going to be packed because they're going to want to come watch the Rams. Yeah, absolutely. And one of the things we mentioned on the postgame show, but your entire team went over to the, to the band up yeah. in the stands. Yeah. That was awesome. Yeah, and it's something that, uh, you know, it's a tradition that we talk about is, you know, after wins, we'll go over there and sing the fight song in the alma mater. And, and uh, you know what, that, that, that's something that is that, that will just move on and move forward and something that becomes part of Ram tradition. Yeah, you know, the fans that were there were, were outstanding. There's no question about that. Yeah, your defense, did, did you guys challenge them this week? Because yeah, they absolutely. were flying around. They did, and, and they played with energy. They played with emotion, and it's something that we talk about is, is uh, guys, look, it's okay to get excited when you make a play. That's cool. <laughs> and, uh, you know, it's part of that culture change. It's part of that foundation. And, and it's part of something that we can look into the future that, that is going to be, you know, a staple of what we are. Well, they were getting excited a lot because that ramp defense created a lot of big plays. You have 33-11, the final score. We'll talk more about that and take you inside that Ram locker room when we come back here on the Ram Report.